Welcome to my chambers. Earlier this week, the government announced an indictment of two former colleagues of President Trump, one of whom was the campaign manager of his campaign during the summer of his triumph at the Republican National Convention in Cleveland, and the other a business partner. The allegations against these two, Paul Manafort and Rick Gates, are that they were actually agents of a foreign government and they failed to register with the American government, that they engaged in tax fraud, in money laundering, and in obstruction of justice. Does any of this have anything to do with Donald Trump? Well, generally, no. It has nothing to do with the investigation of whether somebody in Trump's campaign helped somebody in the Russian government hack emails of Hillary Clinton. That is being investigated by the Justice Department and the person of the independent counsel, Bob Mueller. So why would Mueller indict two of President Trump's former closest colleagues if they had nothing to do with the purpose of his investigation? Because the method of operating for federal prosecutors is to find somebody that knows the target. The target is Donald Trump, the President of the United States, and squeeze those people, not literally squeeze them, but threaten them with jail time, charge them with anything you can find against them in the hopes that they will give you information against the person you really want, the president. But lurking between the lines here was the guilty plea of one of the president's former colleagues. And after that person, George Papadopoulos, pleaded guilty in secret, something almost unheard of in the American system for a judge to lock the courtroom door, he probably wore a wire, and he probably went back to his former colleagues in the Trump campaign and probably tried to get them to incriminate themselves on the wire. When the prosecutor and defense counsel ask a judge to take a guilty plea in secret, that's about the only reason they can do so. If they persuade the judge that the public awareness of the guilty plea will interfere with a law enforcement procedure, in this case, trying to get somebody in the Trump White House to incriminate the president. Is this any way to run a prosecution? Secret wires, indicting people for crimes that have nothing to do with the president, and then squeezing these people to see if they'll cough up information? When you threaten somebody with 20 years in jail, they may say anything to you to reduce that exposure. Sadly, that is everyday life for our federal prosecutors today and it is a dangerous prosecutorial tool in a dangerous time for the president. Welcome to my chambers. Fight the good fight. Oh!